Excel Module 3 Analyzing Data Using Formulas. We're working on the Skills Review exercise, so go ahead and open the worksheet 3-2, and this is for the XRT Labs for the first quarter, January, February, and March, and we want to add each of the rows for each of the locations. You could use your auto sum or alt equals to get the sum of B, C, and D and then use your fill handle or you could use the quick analysis. So to do that select B3 all the way down and over to D9 so B3 through D9. You use your quick analysis tool select totals. There are two sums. One if you want the the sums to be of each column so it would be below or to the right of each row and that's the one we'll select and if you look at the formula it will be equal sum B3 through D3 B4 through D4 and so forth so now click in G3 and what we want to do is find the percent increase from the first quarter current this year to the previous year so you first have to find the difference and then divide by the current first quarter. So your formula will be equals and then your open parentheses E3 minus F3 close parentheses and then divide by the first quarter total revenue. Use your check mark and then it wants it two decimal places so we're going to increase it so it's two decimal places then we'll go ahead and fill handle. And you should have a couple in the negative And with it still selected, if you wanted to have the negative to show in red, you would go to the percent down arrow for more options, come down to number, more number formats. And right now it's on percentage. We're going to customize it. And up here when it has the type that it's percentage at two places, we will add semicolon, bracket, red, close bracket, and then parentheses 0.00 percent and close bracket close parentheses and then click OK select H3 and we're going to create a um, logical statement so what we want to do is if G3 is greater than B10 which is 10 percent then it's going to be met and you can look at your first one you can see that it's under 10 percent so it's going to be missed so to create your function you'll click FX and then you'll go if you don't have most uh, most recently you don't have if you can go to logical and you'll see if so go ahead and click if and OK and the logic test is if G3 is greater than or equal to and the percentage that they're looking for, the target percent increase is 10%. And because you always want it to look at that exact cell in B10, press the F4 so you get that dollar sign. If it's true, it'll be met. And if it's not true, it's false, it'll be missed. And then go ahead and click OK. And we know the first one is um, missed. The next one will be met. Go ahead and use your fill handle. So there's two mets and the rest are missed. And then we'll click into bonus. Now the bonus it has to be two things. So it's not just a if on one, it has to be and both, meaning it has to be met and at least four or more for the quality rating. So in your J3, go ahead and do the FX for the function. And this one is and, and then click OK. On this one, again, it'll be is H3 equal to and use your quotation met close quotation and you can see that it's missed it's false because that's true and then the other statement that it has to meet is is I3 greater than or equal to 4 and then click OK we know that's false we know that it, well there should be two trues so go ahead and scroll down Yep, two trues and the rest are false Click the insert tab. You can um, click anywhere to e exit that uh, range. Insert in text. Select header footer, and then we want to. Right now we're in the header up here in the left hand corner. Go to footer, and in the center of the footer, type your name. 
and then click in any cell and go back to normal by clicking view normal and I usually do control home so it gets me back up to cell A1 so click in B12 and we want around a value with a with a function so I would do the average first which is based on column E so you can select the down arrow choose average and then select the range for column E which is B3 to B9 and then enter and then what you do is you go back into the cell and click in the formula bar above average and type round and then open parentheses and at the end you'll add comma zero close parentheses and it'll round for you in uh, B11 we want to know how many uh, city how many locations there are so we're going to do the equals count a so go ahead and type equals count and it should come up so double click a select the range which is B3 to B9 and then press enter and you should get seven so it's counted how many city locations so the next thing we're doing we're going to format so select all of your ranges from B3 to F9 and then hold control and select B12 and we're going to select on the home tab the accounting format and you notice that everything is zero zero so we'll decrease it twice so that you don't have um, the zero zero D12 type report date and then in E12 under formula date and time select today and OK and it should be the current date and then we'll press delete and instead use date and time and choose date and we're actually going to enter the year 2021 the month is April and the day is 3 and then click OK so you have April 3rd these two we're going to select the um, D and E 12 on the home tab cell styles and we're selecting that rows 20% accent one if you'd like to pick something else go ahead anything you'd like because this is not getting submitted to Sam activate cell one and now we're going to use the equation tools so you're going to go to formula documentation worksheet at the bottom so click that tab and again if you want to click anything below it's under insert symbol and you're going to equation and we're going to click the click the equation button so that you get the the op, the ribbon changes don't click the down arrow and the one that we do want is the stacked fraction and if you want you can make it a little bit larger so you have something bigger to work with and you're going to do the numerator and the denominator before you start taping make sure you click so that it's gray that's the one you'll fill in now and remember when you're typing the um, stacked fraction when you type first quarter revenue you do not have to press spacebar just um, press the hyphen key or dash key and then immediately start typing previous um, quarter revenue and it'll automatically break it make it a solid um, minus sign and put a break between and after before and after and then make sure you click the bottom de um, denominator button before you start typing and then when we're ready to move it to a9 go to the edge of the or the border of the box and then hold with the four arrows and drag over to a9 and then um, you can do control home get you back to a1 go back to first quarter on this one we're going to change the amount in a figure um, in B3 but I am not going to go back to options and ch choose manual so that I have to manually go and change um, reactivate each formula I'm just going to type in 7200 and press enter and let it fill it in for me so and it's 72,000 when I press enter everything over here in the first quarter revenue and the increase in the percent and it may change other things as well yep it became true 
So that's a save and a submit. Thank you.